Hello, 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 my friends. Habage here. So glad you decided to join me for some hardcore vanilla Minecraft. It's sublime, and uh, we mean that. Because this time, we're, uh, we're all about the Bastion. And hopefully, we're not kissing this world goodbye. <laughs> there's, there's real threat. We're going to try to be smart about it and uh, have some good fun as we go. But, uh, yeah, this is one of those activities where, uh, despite all, all we've done so far that's been good, we, uh, could have an oops. So I think we, yeah, we did clear out, I probably just checked that, uh, cleared out our inventory pretty well and are now set to just go and, yeah, we're, we're gonna kind of, uh, Go about a racing still for a little bit here. Uh, remember, last episode we oh had some fun, um, but we had to do it uh, after uh, doing a bunch of tree trimming uh, in the warped forest. And this time we're not going to waste any of that time. We're not traveling through. You know, we're here. We go the the full time. So I think uh, pretty quickly we're going to get down to. Uh, obviously, we're already getting that first stairway exposed, and we know we've got um, gotten quite a bit further down where we were twisting and turning, but it wasn't clear uh, where other chambers were or anything like that. So we we can make this a lot easier going forward by just clearing these out, having a main entry exit. I just pointed at my screen. A main entry exit point ahead of us, uh, back over where our, our uh, end chest is and our shulker, shulker boxes will be able to kind of set up a little um, mini camp there. And with all our tools, we should do pretty well. Uh, now, unfortunately, what this is not doing for us is getting us more quartz. And uh, when, you know, if, if we've been going for a while and all this gets to be too much, then what we'll probably do is just go out for a wander and uh, see if we can snag some quartz from the area around and then come back and uh, pick, pick up again. But... It'll be nice to create a little bit of a, a piggy farm. Um, I have not seen, I know, you know, some of the huge dig projects and all that that, uh, that go on, particularly on Twitch, more so than YouTube. A lot of those are gold farms where they want to have the pig men themselves and use the portals, uh, but want to clear that uh, that nether perimeter uh, to facilitate that spawning. Here, you know, I think if anything, it would be for the pig lens, and they they don't have a ton of appeal really. Um, but we could always expand back um, once we get down. Just try to go low with the light. Yeah, go low and uh, keep clearing down to towards it. Um, but yeah, longer longer term in this area, it you know, probably feel a little bit like the last one. I don't know what what the dimensions of this will be, but again, I kind of think we're we're up relatively high uh, and it'll spread out below us. I have to imagine that um, there's more to it than this one. And if you remember anybody who was around for the slow cooker world, you know, we started in a side of that bastion and it was, uh, it was up on the edge of a soil sand valley. Uh, we 
took her time kind of clearing it down, but then it, the bulk, uh, the actual large part of the the bastion itself actually spread out in a different direction. And so that was really just a corner that I uh, don't even think went all the way down to the... Actually, it did, because we had the road running uh, kind of along the edge, and uh, it, it ran that whole side, so... Kind of had a gap in the middle, though. And we'll, we'll just see what how this one plays out, but... Um, I want to say that when we were doing that one, we already had a totem from the mansion, maybe? I don't know. Um, but good things to talk about here, because this is, this is kind of an unplanned sidetrack, and I don't know how far we'll go. There, you know, there's nothing saying, oh, we've got to clear this whole, whole bastion. Um, really, we're, we're out here and should be looking for more quartz, but kind of fun thing to do in the middle and we we've done a lot of work on our um, uh, our silos um, the building and all that and while I want to get that done um, I appreciate you guys want to have you know some variety and mix of uh, different gameplay styles. So we'll, you know, we'll kind of go for a bit until it gets, until it starts feeling tired or pushed or I get sick of it. it you know, if I get bored, I'm going to go, go do something else. But at some point, I, that's kind of why I want to run a, a perimeter with the, uh, hi. That's not too... That is. Um, yeah, run a, a little perimeter here. That should give us more access to quartz. One, two, three, four. Should be able to get one more going where we can just kind of reach out the five blocks with our pick all around the edge. And that'll help us see which, which direction this is going. Should inadvertently or indirectly. <laughs> I don't think it's inadvertent. Don't mind me. Uh, just words. Um, should indirectly help us get more quartz as we go deeper and deeper. And eventually, this is going to be way up above where we're actually working. And we'll kind of clear these pieces as well um, until it, you know, it's just a deep staircase. Uh, going down, but if this is our edge so far, then we want to come back over to here. And just kind of push this through. And I think... Not to have any weird overhangs, but again, this is kind of roof line stuff up here. Uh, those are both just pig men, not piglins. Oh, there we go. If I'd if I'd held true, <laughs> we would have we would have gotten there eventually. That's all right. Everything must go. Clearance time. So yeah, I will just uh, keep a steady nether clearing going as well. And this could actually be a thing that tries our supply of shulker boxes too. We've got a bunch, but... Ooh. 
hole of our own making. So we deserve to fall into that, right? But that is that is kind of the idea of what we'll be doing here, I think, is just bringing these all down until we really find out which direction this goes. Now, let's go quartzing while we're at it. A little, little explore and wander. What do we have down here? Not much. There's some skeleton. Kind of fun. Uh, that looks like Soul Sand Valley, which is good for the ghasts. Uh, before we do any more real work here, let's get this out of the way. You guys know a lot of times I like to just kind of contain the bottoms of those so they don't flow all over the place but you still get the light here i think i'd rather have it gone because you never know when that's going to go down a level and then come right back into where you're trying to work below so let's see well that was uh that was pretty lame i i guess we already got some but i mean, we'll do more eventually This is the edge over here. I think we've got a... Oh, really? Don't you do that. I don't even know if I really got the source there. Maybe I did. still doing their thing. I kind of got sucked in. I was, uh, normally I just uh, drop an episode and while it's uploading, record the next, but uh, I think in part because I, uh, this is... Interesting because we really don't have three, four, five. Don't have too much of a definite. Oh, great. That's a trap. Just go down below sight level and then start grabbing gold so that piglins can swarm you unseen. Uh, did I make that clear enough to know which way?
Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did I never even finish? Uh, here. And why did I... There's a lot of stupid going on right now. Why am I lowering outside of where I have my boxes set up? Oh... I guess this was our exit. <sighs> yeah, Gasty. I'll be right with you. Give me a tear. Ooh, that looks... No. Darn it. This one. Oh man, I probably already. <sighs> Tell you what. there, then this can go here, and we can kind of build to the edge of the hole from this as a stair. Hopefully leave everything else as is. Gasts, though. Let's get a lot of gasts while we're working here. Uh, this is one of the things. It's mid-morning for me, uh, but fairly bright time of day, and seeing the holes and stuff in the nether. Even though I have you know curtains and all that shut, it's still pretty bright. So, these are episodes that often work out better at night or on really cloudy days, things like that, where it's fairly dark. There go our mover friends again. Clump, clump, clump. Once we uh, once we do fight our wither, then we have a nice little setup for uh, or a good place to use a beacon. That would certainly speed up some of this work. A little haste action. So how do you guys like to approach your bastions? Uh, anybody feel free to comment if you've got uh, got a technique. Um, you know, are, are you one of those you find it, you go through it, and just you know 
make the allowances to make sure that you stay safe as early as possible to get some of those treasures? Are you like me where you kind of wait until you've got your gear tip top so that you don't have to worry as much about the brutes? Um, what's, you know, what's your deal? Do you hollow out like this um, with a beacon or whatever? Or do you just kind of find a find one and work your way through the kind of maze of corridors and call it good from there? Now, I think what we're going to try to do is do our periphery nether rack every few levels um, as opposed to just one at a time, right? I think that's a reasonable use of our pick. And remember, this is, in part, we have a bunch of quartz back at home that's been silk-touched as well as the stuff that we've picked up, the little bit that we picked up on this run. And the reason I hadn't used the fortune on that was we didn't have any tools that had been worn down enough to, to need repair. So, uh, getting this done as a start is a good way to chew up a pick and, uh, and actually make sure that we don't waste uh, what XP we do have. Completely. Just for the sake of getting a building material. I'm, you know, I'm all about using it, but... I just want to be a little cautious as we go. Okay, we seem to be filling up the inventory. Let's go empty our pockets. And again, we don't care at all about sorting this stuff. It takes too long to try to manage and organize different shulker boxes. Instead, we just... We'll go back and do that at home um, when we're done. Okay, uh, let's go get the rest. Everything we've already broken. Oh, we're going to fill up a bunch when we break those chests and things too. That'll have a lot more block type. Uh, but for now, it's this, I guess. Just check this edge. Let's see how far we go and can kind of work backwards to our stairs there where it's floating. Try to reach as much as possible. We don't want to go beyond there because that's our easy way back. And right now, none of the, you know, this is all kind of a ha ha ha, you fall, you drop five blocks and pick your way back up. Make sure you have an easy stair to get out. Um, but in these features, some of some of them have drops that are potentially fatal. <laughs> we didn't do a very good job of keeping our way back. Um, you know, they can plunge a long way, and it's not so much the drop. We have our, our feather fall, so we're not terribly concerned about the fall damage and even if we drop into the lava we've got uh, fire prot so we're we're pretty well equipped to handle that kind of stuff uh, the problem is that at the bottom of these things you get a much higher spawn rate and oh, there's our, our little drop and you can't have uh, have actual lava slime spawners I think is I think they're an actual spawner in the midst of it which are just you know hordes of those things they're they're tough to deal with even even fully 
uh, prepared and going after him, uh, trying to deal with those after you've suddenly plummeted and weren't planning on it, you can get caught off guard and, and really take a bunch of damage. So we'll try to avoid that as much as possible. But as you can see, I, I fall all the time oh, like that. You know, everything's got a balance, right? It, if you just constantly walk around like, ooh, what's... <laughs> well, if you do that, you're going to fall anyway. But if you're constantly looking at every edge, you're never going to get anything done. you got to kind of just accept it. it. might happen here and there. And do your best. Uh, this could get problematic and we're already too high around the outside so let's one two three let's take all of this level Casts. That's for sure. Haste wouldn't help us too much on these. This is already breaking. going, little guy. I saw you. Did you have buddies? No buddies. Okay, this looks like an edge. Uh, seems about right. Once we get ooh, down in to a box, then it, it there's much less uncertainty, right? You just go to the edge and boom, you're done. But we do have to be a little watching our back. We'll get that gold here in a moment. those gold uh, ores and uh, the quartz. That's why I'm doing this extended perimeter. And it helps give us a heads up that, hey, the bastion could be kicking off in this direction. But also, when we do find ourselves all the way at the bottom, if we continually just kick out the wall around it, uh, we got a little room to work with to uh, contain all the pigmen that will be spawning down there. So, and when it does get get kind of filled up, and we're uh, working more in excavation type terms, then maybe we throw the gold back on. We'll have cleared all the brutes by that point, I think, and can uh, just handle them a bit better. Now we had this gold over here. Let's get it cleared out. Anybody about to get upset? A little left over here. I oh, know. Here, let me help you. There you go. A little more dolly moving. Again, nobody's pounding down my door. If you guys are hearing any of that bleed through, just movers doing their thing. Our 
around when that was our low our low torch. So we're doing something right, guys. There we go. Um, let's continue our stair here. We may want to refine that a bit with uh, some com something more blast resistant eventually, I'm thinking, but for now, it will hold up pretty well. And then we can get all our quartz here. There we go. Primary objective being achieved. Yay! Of course, now we have to fill in stuff that would be below grade. And let's just keep this going for a bit. that just in case. Doesn't hurt to carry the extra. Uh, let's do the central bit. again. Oh, that was just a little guy. did it anyway. I couldn't even see it. That looks... Nope. Short. It's these corners that I just can't. down on the next step. Alright, there we go. All good around. Max Shulker. Hi, Enderman. Just do 
these as a double. Thought about doing the, you know, just horizontal run and uh, throw a pick back at him, but I don't know if that's any fat. I mean, I guess we could just leave it one layer up each time. We'll see. See what hits us. There's more quartz exposed, though. That's nice. Starts getting necessary to keep an eye on that pick. I don't think it's going to go too critical on this, but the nether rack is the stuff that just eats it up. Kind of like the sand on shovels. Start watching out for that edge, though. Uh, I think before we know it, it will be not that big a deal, but... <clears throat> Until we get it cleared out. Something to be mindful of. Garbage trucks and movers. And we still got I think, 20 minutes left, so you guys are going to get the full garbage truck experience. But we've you, you've been missing it. You can admit it to me, I know. It's been a long time since we've heard dumpsters clanging in the background. a little bit. Okay, you're just a pig man. I wasn't sure there for a second. was the easiest gas I've ever seen. Come on, tear. It feels kind of like cheating. Oh, hey. I'll take it, though. We have a fun little surprise whenever we do get back to base. Since we're here, why not? Okay, we still have uh, levels to go. What? What just happened there? Was not intended. You want to stake back. See, that really looks flush from here. Oh, 
was good stuff, though. Good stuff. I expect a lava pocket at some point. Going this far underground. Oh. Throw a little light on that. Um, and just to keep our wall. A little better. gonna land on my head pal see how that happened oh you slippery devil oh. uh, here Be elevated because I know this one is pre cut and I don't want to remove my stairs. Right. Well, this time, just for variety, let's do this. I don't know that it really is, but it certainly feels quicker when you do it like that. And it's better for managing the lava. Good little trench, but it's not too bad now. But we are going to have to deal with these chests. That's going to be a quick unload, reload. I guess we'll be getting all the garbagey stuff we didn't really want after all. It's always just a matter of time. That's why it's so nice to have a whole bunch of shulkers. Oh, a oh, oh, little toe stubber hole. seem to have at least some inventory space here. Yep. Oh, now I gotta make a... I guess I can go around, right? Up and around. what I'm going to call the Enderman Row. Yeah, 
does. Yeah, this just soaks up all the inventory space, but that's okay. Now, uh, let's do... a walkway here. Oh, that could have been a big mistake. I think we could have handled it, but uh... oh. No tear after all that? There was a tear. Good. That's my flame arrow. Alright. Yeah, this will become increasingly necessary if we do get those ghasts to show up, which we want. Uh, tear. May as well double that up. See, look at that. We've already got a good, good size hole. I'm just amazed at that this hasn't spread out at all yet. Kind of wild. Alright, I think we're about ten minutes out. Let's do our... Oh, we don't even have a perimeter deal. Alright, well let's just do this whole level then. That should be a good measure of how much time we take. Uh, once we get done with this layer, then I would imagine you know, we can just wrap things up. Make up for some of those long episodes when we were building the silos. layer of actual chambers and stuff in this remnant that may have some goodies for us. back up. going on with them getting stuck over there apparently, but I like it. We'll run up and check for tears there in a moment. This is a really slow gunpowder farm. <laughs> All this reminds me that you know I'm not not planning to do it anytime immediately, but uh, we'll want to do the rescue the gas thing again. And the, the mental note for me and, and just fact for you guys or, or fun fact is uh, 
the Soul Sands biome is a really good option there because it does not spawn the lava slimes. Uh, whereas in the last one, we tried to build it in the Basalt Delta, and it was it was a mess. We had constant lava slimes all over ourselves. So, yeah, hot insider tip. That actually really went fast. Uh, let's... Keep ourselves going here. Just more progress wherever we can pick at it. Pick at it, get it. sound that means that there's fun to be had not too far and remember we were we were close to down that level inside the the bastion um, but we didn't have a clear path or clear path back out and that's where uh, these excavations are nice you get you get lots of good materials to use and only occasionally make yourself fall into holes. Sounds angry and hostile. Don't worry, guys. Don't be impatient. We'll get to you. We know you're down there. Look at that. That little ravine is already kind of erased. Doing well on the lava catching. Had a few spills early, but now they all... Presenting them to be easily dealt with. Again, with the pigmen, you uh, are good as long as you're continually holding down your pick mouse button. Actively swing it, even if you're not aiming like that. I'm still holding the button, so that should prevent aggro. However, don't forget that uh, Minecraft can do some funky things every once in a while, so best to be on your guard. We could have quite a swarm here. This is going to work out much better for time. We'll have all this netherrack done. Uh, we can go clear the pockets and then be set for another run. Oh, and we never did go back and check that gas, did we? So we should do that. Uh, For any of you guys that were wondering why did we spend so much time on the basement and storage early on, here's why. <laughs> things like netherrack and blackstone and gravel and all those uh, just really pile up. Wow. 
that's why we don't want to inadvertently clip a pigment. All right, did you guys see a gas die up here any times recently? Did I waste his goodies? Oh, maybe he was further back. I don't know. Oh, well. I don't think he was on this side. Let's get rid of all this fire, though. I think that was from one of those past ghasts. I don't see anything. Alright. Um, while we are at it with inventory, let's do this. These are all clear. Set everything back up. So I think, you know, basically one more episode should uh, should fill our pockets. We can move this one back over here, clean things up a little bit, and we're gonna call it good. That's our hole so far. We'll see how far it goes and probably wrap it around a side as we go lower uh, rather than just, you know, we don't want to go all the way across, so kind of leave it steep uh, once we get to the, the bastion itself. Anyway, that's all for the next episode. I'm going to save right here. I think we're relatively safe. The creeper's a spy. The creeper's not a spy. The creeper is just a threat. There's nothing subtle about the creeper. Anyway, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this one. A little hole digging is always uh, always a good time. We're getting good stuff. Got a couple tiers. That uh, pretty much sets us up for another dragon, I believe. I think that gives us enough. Um, we also have uh, filled up loads of shulkers with good stuff. Not as much quartz as we want, but... Uh, yeah, eventually we're going to un unearth that other pocket of pigmen, <laughs> or piglins and uh, brutes and clear them out. Hopefully find some more goodies out of this remnant. So uh, you guys all take care. Have a good break. I know I'm going to step away for just a moment and uh, come back and do it all over again. So stay tuned for more hardcore vanilla fun. And uh, this is Habage. Thanks again for tuning in. Bye now.